Good morning everyone, it's Joker, and today we are back with another slime video. Quick video, because no one should be this stupid, except the whales right here. So, they introduced some new packs for the Wind Banner. This 30% EX ticket and 10% EX ticket, don't buy those. These packs, however, you know, 4 bucks for 100 crystals, so that's 12 bucks for a multi. I mean, that's probably the best deal you're ever going to find, as far as a cheap multi besides free is concerned. And then we've got the this forty dollar pack for seven hundred and fifty. So if you are inclined to spend money, um, you know, buy these packs. If you're not, then don't worry about it. Just don't buy these wind packs. Speaking of wind banner, um, I said it last night. Don't summon on this banner. Like it, it, it might as well be actual shit for you. Like yeah, the drop rate is six percent. Awesome. The only characters that are in this banner are wind characters. So if we go all the way down, all the way through this, literally five-star win characters. All right? Um, these are almost OG characters. Not quite OG because Dino, Trainee, Diablo, and all that, but um, none of them are really worth it. Like, Trainee, yeah, is still pretty good. Veldora, uh, I mean, he can work as an orb changer in a very specific scenario. We don't talk about him. Lumi is still good, but she's literally, like, month two of the game is concerned. And then you have these five EX characters. So if we go all the way back up. We've got New Year's Blessing Milam, who is probably the weakest of the New Year's Blessing characters, and highly unnecessary, because there are other people who can damage buff in place of her. Maybe not the specific damage buff, but... There are others who can replace her just fine. Vengeance Shuna, which if you already have a Vengeance character, that's pretty much all you need. You don't need another one. She doesn't bring anything to the actual Vengeance team to begin with, except another stack of Vengeance, which you could probably go without if you've already cleared the entire game with the Vengeance team already. Like, her skills are actually pretty stupid for the Vengeance team, so 100% unnecessary. Bride Soka, man, as much as I simp for Soka, this character's ass. <laughs> this character sucks now. <laughs> there's no there's no easy way to say it. She's got the future hand of green orbs. Yeah, cool, fine, whatever. It doesn't matter. Um, you know, what what is this? One and a half anniversary Shizu uh, met for a burst team, severely underpowered now. Single orb changer, 15% attack stacker for two categories. Not no. Don't don't do it. Fountain Wisdom Hinata, literally only good on her own team as a nuker. Otherwise, you never use her. And, and that's it. So you have one, two, three, four characters that are pretty not great. And you have one okay wind character on a banner that is literally only wind characters. I don't... I feel like I shouldn't have to make this video telling you not to summon. But there's going to be someone in the comments, I swear to God... And if you ask me in the comments for this video, should you summon, I'm going to reach the screen and smack you. All right? I don't know how many more times I can say don't summon on this stupid banner. If you are done summoning on the triple featured unit banner, because you have Velzard and Milam and Guy, then you need to stop summoning. Because Rimuru ain't worth it, and the hero ain't worth it, and this wind banner ain't worth it. And it sucks that you know I'm going to tell you, and all you gotcha gamers are not very patient, but you need to wait until the 29th, when the meta changes over. Alright, so you have, you know, almost two weeks to save crystals, however much you have left, and you need to wait for whatever's coming next, probably a bride meta, and maybe your favorite waifu gets a bride unit, and then you piss it all away on the stupid Rimuru, or some stupid Vengeance Shuna character that you don't even get. And then you come crying to me in two weeks, saying, I have no crystals, and I'm going to tell you, sorry, not sorry. So don't summon on this banner. Don't summon on this banner. Don't summon on this banner. Summon on this banner until you got all three, or at the very least, Felzard, and then you need to stop. But that's it for me, guys. Take it easy, and I'll see you all later.